When you're getting ready to buy a trailer, a nice new trailer like that one, you've got to consider the insurance. And there's a couple of different types of insurance around. Let me tell you what happened to me. In my case, I went to my insurance broker. I have all my insurance with them. And uh, they offered me a policy, which when I checked it out, it was cheap, but it was pretty bad. It uh, had, uh, it's almost like a car. You buy a car and you insure it. And they give you like, if the car costs $100, they give you $100 of insurance. But the minute you take it out of the showroom, it's depreciated, so you can never get that $100. And uh, I, I'll call that, for lack of a better term, depreciating insurance. And that's what they offered me with this trailer. Um, but I shopped around, and I found a much better deal that I hope you'll check out. Um, I looked at uh, Progressive Insurance. They tout themselves as being RV insurers, and uh, they I have to say, in my case, they were. What they offered me, and there's several different types, I won't get the names right because different companies use different names. In some cases, there's stated value. You say this trailer costs X number of dollars, and they will give you that amount of money if the trailer is destroyed. Uh, there's a couple of uh, other ones where there's agreed value. There's several different types. But what I got from Progressive, which I thought was great, was replacement value. That is, if I bought this trailer, this beautiful trailer, for $10,000, and with inflation going crazy, up to five years later, they'll replace the trailer. So if this trailer costs $30,000 in five years or less, they'll give me $30,000 or replace the trailer. Now that's a really sweet deal. And in order to qualify for that, you have to be the original owner. The trailer has to be less than a year old. And I think that's it. Now, I don't know about home builds. I'm talking about, you know, commercial builds. Uh, so, or in this case, a boutique build. So, um, but it's certainly worth checking out. It was reasonable. And um, after the five years, if the trailer is destroyed, they'll give me original purchase value for as long as I own the policy. Now, that's, that's a great deal. I thought it was the best for me. I don't know what's good for you, but you should check it out. On top of that, you may want to think about uh, towing. In my case, if my car breaks down and I have to be towed to Subaru Outback, they have to flatbed those cars out of there. It's not likely they're going to get the Subaru Outback and the trailer on the same flatbed truck. So you may get stuck with two towing charges. Uh, you may have to get a separate flatbed trailer to tow this, uh, this trailer or some other way to tow it. So they offered towing insurance for the trailer, which I thought was pretty good. There's limitations on all this. You have to check out what you're buying, but I, I think, you know, when I, as soon as I heard, heard about it, I jumped on both of those uh, type of insurances. One is a replacement value and the second, the towing insurance. I think I have liability insurance, like if the trailer unhitches from the car and rams something, I bought some liability insurance. I think it's $100,000 of liability. They recommended it. I, you know, I trust my insur this insurance broker. Really consider replacement value. It could save you a lot of money. This trailer is brand new. I did get a new trailer. Word was out before I even left the shop. And I'll explain all that later. Uh, I did have to pay for it. Uh, there's rumors around, oh, you know, Cosmo makes videos about Vistabule, so uh, no, no, no. Uh, I've been making videos about Vistabule for seven years and uh, this is my second one. I paid for all of them. And you may be wondering why I did it. I'll explain it all later. In order to keep my trailer, sure I use locks. I use a tongue lock, you know, I use it on the hitch here. I use a lock, I have wheel locks. And then I put a boot on here. So if you have a boot, you should get wheel locks too. They go on the, uh, the wheel of the, uh, they go, in, you take off one of these lug nuts and you use a keyed lug nut. And it prevents somebody from taking your tire off, your wheel off and uh, to stealing the trailer that way. Uh, I haven't had any problems with this. You know, locks, uh, they keep honest people honest. They're good. To make this trailer less desirable to steal, I uh, bought a glass etching kit. And that allows you to etch your uh, serial number of the trailer, your uh, vehicle identification number, VIN, into the glass. Uh, you need glass windows to do this. And Vistabule has six glass windows. And it just so happens in this package, you get six stencils. So it's perfect. <laughs> Nothing is foolproof, but, uh, you know, it used to be if you did this on your car, they would reduce your insurance. And I talked with a company. They said uh, they're unaware of any vehicle being stolen that had uh, glass etching on it. 
clean the glass really good. They give you an alcohol prep. They give you everything you need here, except for a hose and running water and some paper to mask it off. And you clean this really good. You clean it a couple of times with uh, both sides of this thing and uh, get this sparkling clean. For the beautiful large front window, which I love, I'm going to uh, put it down here. It'll be somewhat out of the way. I could put it like up in here. It doesn't make sense. I think uh, right down here. It's, uh, it's just frosted when it's done, so it doesn't really uh, impede the view. And I think I'm gonna go with this area. And back here, you know, I do look out the windows in the morning, every morning to see who's out there. And uh, this will be added away. It won't be a problem for me. Nice thick coat of this uh, etching acid. This stuff is acid, so make sure you wear gloves. Make sure you are careful. Started a 20 minute timer once I had this covered in acid, once the last one was covered. So it's actually gonna be on a little longer. And uh, I don't expect the problem. So I'm just walking around making sure that it's not running anywhere, uh, which it's not. It's, uh, it's holding in very pasty like, and it's, uh, it's not running at all. Okay, you bad guys, you got your work cut out for you. This is the wrong trailer. You want to steal somebody else's. And if we do catch you, hopefully I'll be able to recover my trailer. And now that this is dried, you can see it a lot better. It's not obtrusive, you know, when you're intrusive when you're in the trailer looking out. It's not a problem, but, uh, you know, it's a little uh, etching here. I'm happy with it. I, you know, this is the second trailer I've done it on. I'm happy to say neither of them has stolen. We got a little visitor. This is a jumping spider. Jumping spiders are like the seventh smartest insect. They pass all sorts of tests. Uh, you can read up on them. They're really interesting critters. And they, uh, they know how to uh, navigate and climb up things and look around. They're, oh, he just jumped onto my camera. <laughs> They're very smart. Uh, I had one in my trailer. I was chasing him around trying to get him out. And finally he stopped and looked at me and like, he, you know, he virtually said, what do you want? <laughs> and I picked